Aluminum is one of the most recycled and recyclable materials on the planet, even though its recycling rate is over 90% in many regions. The process of recycling aluminum is not only efficient, but also significantly reduces environmental impact compared to producing new aluminum from raw materials. According to the International Aluminium Institute, the global average recycling efficiency rate is 76%. This reflects how much aluminum scrap is collected and goes back into production. Around 75% of all aluminum ever produced is still in use today. This shows aluminum's durability and the effectiveness of recycling in keeping it in circulation. Recycling aluminum requires up to 95% less energy compared to producing new aluminum from virgin ore. This translates to significant reductions in greenhouse gas emissions and environmental impact. Beverage cans are the most recycled beverage container globally, with a recycling rate of around 70%. While many regions achieve impressive recycling rates for aluminum, there are variations. For instance, Brazil leads the pack with a staggering 98.2% recycling rate for aluminum cans, whereas the U.S. aluminum container and packaging recycling rate is around 34.9%. Fancy numbers, yeah, but how does the whole process take place? Imagine all the used aluminum cans, like the ones that held your favorite fizzy drink. We can also recycle shiny foil wrappers that once kept your lunch fresh, and even old car parts that helped your family zoom around. But before they get a brand new life, they need a special adventure. It's collection time. Just like putting away your toys, you can put your used aluminum in special bins at home. These bins might be bright blue or green with pictures of cans and foil. Some towns have trucks that come right to your neighborhood to pick them up. Or you can take your aluminum treasures to a recycling center, a big place where lots of people bring their used things. Next comes the sorting challenge. This is like separating your Legos from your building blocks. Not everything in the bins is aluminum, so we need to sort it out. Here's where the cool part happens. Sometimes giant magnets swoop in and grab all the metal things, just like a superhero picking up lost toys. Other times, special machines with X-ray vision, sort of, can see the aluminum hiding amongst other things. These machines are super fast and can sort mountains of aluminum in a blink. Once all the aluminum is sorted and on its own, it's ready for the most amazing part of being transformed. After sorting out the aluminum from all the other stuff, it's time to get it squeaky clean. We wash away any leftover paint, stickers, or glue that might be stuck on. This cleaning might involve special machines with brushes and even bubbles, like a car wash for aluminum. Once it's all clean, we shred the aluminum into tiny bits. Think of it like making aluminum confetti. This helps the melting process go smoother and faster, because the smaller the pieces, the easier they melt. Once the aluminum is all clean and shredded, it's like a pile of tiny aluminum flakes. These flakes go into a giant oven, much hotter than your kitchen oven, that melts them down into a silvery puddle. This melting is super cool because it uses way less energy than making brand new aluminum. While it's melting, they clean the aluminum even more. It's like skimming scum off your soup. They might add special ingredients to help grab in any leftover dirt and then scoop it out. They also use fancy tricks to make sure the aluminum is extra clean. After the melted aluminum is super clean, it's sometimes like adding sprinkles to your cupcake. Tiny amounts of other metals can be mixed in to create special aluminum mixtures. These mixtures are like secret recipes that make the aluminum stronger, easier to bend, or better at fighting rust, depending on what it will be used for. Once they've mixed in the special ingredients, they pour the melted aluminum into giant molds, kind of like pouring pancake batter. These molds create big blocks of aluminum, almost like giant silver Legos. These aluminum blocks are the starting point for making all sorts of cool new things. Novelis is the world's largest recycler of used beverage cans, arriving at its factory in Warrington, England from all over the world, compressed into bales weighing up to 1,000 kilograms and containing as many as 65,000 aluminum cans. Novelis saves enough energy recycling aluminum cans, cars, tools, and planes to run the entire country of India. The bales of compressed cans are loaded onto a conveyor and fed into a 340 horsepower shredder. The aluminum is difficult to sort due to its inability to be separated with a magnet. 
The shredded scrap passes through an optical sorter at a rate of three meters per second, using infrared sensors to sort out what's metal and what isn't. Plastic or glass is blasted away with jets of air, while a powerful magnet sucks up scraps of steel, leaving only aluminum. Aluminum is the most common metal in the Earth's crust and is expensive because it's hard to extract from the rock around it. It was once more expensive than gold 150 years ago. Today, the demand for aluminum is so high that ingots don't lie around. Their transformation back into cans starts with a 900 kilometer journey to a rolling mill in Germany, where they are heated in another furnace to 525 degrees. This relaxes the bonds between the aluminum atoms, releasing any stresses within the ingot. Massive reels of aluminum arrive back in the UK at ball packaging to undergo reconversion into cans and possibly something more out of this world. Novalis has three basic product categories, beverage packaging, household metal packaging, and an aerospace division. Making beverage cans is rocket science, as the aluminum alloys for rockets are very similar to the ones used for cans. On planet Earth, Novalis feeds the sheets of aluminum into a rapid-fire cupping press, which knocks out thousands of shallow cups. The secret of turning them into cans is a tight squeeze, with every cup rammed through a series of rings, each narrower than the last. The first time anyone put a beverage in an aluminum can was beer in the U.S. in 1959. Even then, they still recycled, paying a cent for every can brought back. Novelist produces around 6.5 million cans every day and sends them all over the world, saving enough energy to run the entire country. Recycling aluminum offers significant environmental benefits. It reduces the need for mining bauxite ore, conserves natural resources, and lowers greenhouse gas emissions. Moreover, because aluminum can be recycled indefinitely without losing its properties, it is a model of sustainability in the manufacturing industry. Every ton of recycled aluminum saves about four tons of bauxite ore from being mined. Bauxite mining can disrupt ecosystems and leave scars on the landscape. So recycling is like giving the earth a break. Manufacturing aluminum from scratch requires a lot of resources. Recycling cuts need to be cut by a whopping 95%. That's like using just a tiny drop of new resources compared to filling a whole bucket. Getting aluminum from scratch creates a lot of greenhouse gases, which contribute to climate change. Recycling aluminum uses about 95% less energy, which means way fewer greenhouse gases are released. An example of the efficient cooperation that may be achieved when current technical developments and a dedication to environmental conservation are brought together is seen in the contemporary aluminum recycling process. By following this method, which has been thoroughly established, we can convert what was formerly regarded as trash from either the industrial or consumer sector into precious resources that can be used in the production of completely new items. By going through this iterative process, we can accomplish the twin goals of preserving resources and fostering a future that is more environmentally sustainable. Therefore, the insignificant act of placing an aluminum beverage container in a recycling bin that has been designated for that purpose becomes a trigger for an astounding change. One that exemplifies the ability of mankind to manage resources responsibly and to be responsible to the environment. Therefore, the next time you grab a pleasant beverage that comes in an aluminum can, keep in mind that the can is not going to be thrown away in the landfill. In other words, it is about to start on an extraordinary trip, one that will convert it into something quite different. When you decide to recycle aluminum, you are playing a significant part in this environmentally conscious journey.